Hello everyone, today I'm going to be telling you about the DOX German flying boat. The DOX was thought of in 1924 and started the development in 1925. And in 1929, after over 240,000 work hours, it was ready to fly. At the time of its flight, on July the 25th, 1929, it was the largest, heaviest and most powerful flying boat in the world. It was powered by 12 391 KW 524 horsepower engines. But even with all that power, it was only able to fly to an altitude of 425 meters. The DOX would usually carry 60 people on long flights and 100 on short flights. However, on October the 21st, 1929, on its 70th TEF flight, 169 people were on board. 150 of which were production workers and their families, mostly. 10 were crew, and 9 were tow aids. And when turning on this flight, the passengers were asked to crowd onto one side to help. It flew for 40 minutes and held the record for most people carried on a single flight for 20 years. Controlling the aircraft was similar to how captains control their ships. The captain was in the cockpit and they sent orders to the engine room for the engineer to carry out. Then in 1930, after an engine upgrade, he was able to make the transatlantic flight to America. His flight took it to the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, France, Spain and Portugal. But its flight to America was interrupted on the 29th of November 1930 when a pure tarpaulin rubbed against a absorbed pipe and caught the entire left wing on fire. And on August the 29th, 1931, it finally reached New York after 10 months of flying. But the Great Depression took away all hopes that Germany had of selling it in America. Here they let us that the DRX delivered on its third flight to Brazil. Here are the captain's words just before he took off. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for the wonderful reception you have given me on my crew at Colshot. You have seen my ship and I hope you like her. So far she has behaved perfectly in the air. We are about to take off. Two of the three ships that were built were put into the German Air Force and they were retired in 1937. Thank you all for watching this video. If you like it, like and subscribe. Oh, tell me that you liked it and I'll make more. Until then, goodbye and have a lovely day.